Welcome to the hatchery at VS Fisheries. Well, this is um, where the magic starts. This is where the life of a VS Fisheries carp begins. So the first job we need to do is inject the brood fish. So we bring them in from the, uh, the environment outside, we warm them up to 23 degrees centigrade, and then we give them an injection with a hormone to make them spawn. We then collect the spawn in a bowl like this, just a simple Pyrex bowl, and we collect the eggs in there. We then add the sperm from the male fish, and through a process of about an hour and a half, we take the stickiness off of those eggs. The eggs are then moved into these upwelling jars. These are called Zuga jars, if you want to use the technical expression. If you want to use the less technical expression, they're just Coca-Cola bottles, but they work perfectly. So what we'll do is we'll put about a litre of carp eggs in each one of these jars, and having taken the stickiness off them, they roll beautifully inside this jar, just like grains of sand. Carp produce a lot of eggs, and to give you an insight into how many eggs they produce, that line there represents one litre. So that line down to the two pence piece in the bottom there, that is exactly one litre of fluid. Now if we fill that space up with carp eggs, that is somewhere between 100 and 120,000 carp eggs. So in one morning in May, this year is the 3rd of May, every one of these jars is filled up with carp eggs, so we produce a lot of carp eggs very quickly. Now Mother Nature is an incredible thing, and all being well, after 72 hours, just 72 hours, these eggs are starting to hatch. And as they hatch, the little tiny carp fry, which are like a shard of glass with two little eyes, they swim up on the water and then they disappear down these pipes. And the next thing we do is collect them in a cage like this. So this little cage uh, we use to rear the baby fish for the first week to 10 days of their lives. Now obviously, it's inside the hatchery, there's no predators, but we can control the environment, it's lovely and warm, and there's no nasty diseases or, as I've said, predators, so they should do very well. But obviously, to grow very quickly in here, they need lots and lots of food. So what we need to do is feed them. And what we grow for them is something called Artemia, and we, we buy in cysts from a company called ZM, uh, and this is our team of cysts. It's like flour. The cysts are absolutely tiny, and as they hatch, they hatch into tiny little marine plankton. So we rear those in these jars, like this big upwelling jar here, and every 24 hours we harvest those jars and we feed them to the baby carp. And the baby carp are fed, believe it or not, about 11, 12 times every single day for the first week or so of their lives, and the transformation is dramatic. To start with, they look like a little shard of glass. Within a week or 10 days, they look like little fish. They've got, uh, their bodies have become silvery. You can see the fins forming and they start to look like something that would resemble a fish. At that point, they then need to go out into the ponds on the farm, the fry ponds, which we specifically prepared for them. Uh, and they'll be ready uh, to go out. And hopefully if we've got the pond preparation right, they should grow like mad. Let's go and have a look at some carp outside that have been in the fry ponds since the 5th of, Mar uh, 5th, 5th of May, excuse me. Let's see how they've got on. So that fish was hatched in early May and it's already five to six inches long and it's not the biggest in here. Look at this brood. So they grow very, very quickly in especially prepared ponds on the farm. So they've got no predators, lots and lots of food. They're under net, so they don't have to worry about being eaten by herons and kingfishers. And with the right stocking density, they grow super, super quick. This fish probably weighs just over two pounds. He's what we call a C2, which means C for carp, two for two summers. We've also got some lovely scaly ones. This one's a bit smaller, but a beautiful fish all the same. Imagine that, 35 pounds, what a cracker. And then we got the old big scales on the shoulder, another absolute belter. So that's a C2, and would be perfect for stocking into match fisheries. A lovely, lovely fish. Two years further down the line, they turned into proper little brutes. So we call this a C4, for summer carp. Absolute brute. This one weighs about 10 pounds, and he's set to become a proper monster of the future. As a car farmer, this is about as good as it gets. This fish, six summers old, so two years further down the line, and look at that. 20 pounds, absolutely beautiful. Big plate scales, I think as a car angler, I've been carp fishing since I was 10, I would be very, very happy still, at the age of 50 odd, to catch one that looked a bit like that. Happy days.